Well, there's a lot of great stuff to see here in Rockland. It's all really close by. We're here at the main Lighthouse Museum. What we really have here is, is large, one of the largest collection of Fresnel lenses, mm -hmm. which, which the Lighthouse Service used from 1854 on to this very day in the United States, and also quite a collection of uh, U.S. Life Saving Service memorabilia mm -hmm. and artifacts, and as well as modern U.S. Coast Guard. Right. And so to make a Fresnel lens, though, it must have been a pretty intricate process. You really had to be an expert, probably, they, in glass making. And, there was a, a Frenchman, Auguste Fresnel, mm -hmm. who came up with this design, and it was so much more efficient than the earlier designs. And so their whole purpose was to take the, the light from a like whale oil yep. lantern, say, and just magnify that. What it did was, you see that the, the uh, prisms would basically capture the light. So instead of having a lot of light just escape out the top and out the bottom, it redirected it and refocused it. So we're in the portion of the museum dedicated to the life-saving service, and that's the precursor to the Coast Guard, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And here is a typical peapod that they would have in a life-saving station, and it's, it's just almost hard to imagine, but yeah, when the weather was bad, these guys went out, yep. and no life jackets that we have today, they're just their K-pop, yeah. <laughs> and their oil slicks and oil skins, and it was, uh, it was they... tough life. So here we are, here's the famous breaches buoy. They would be a distressed ship offshore, they would send a signal out, then the guys would hook up their horse, their horses, they'd bring the cart down, they'd set up all this apparatus, they'd put the projectile in the Lyle gun, mm -hmm. fire that baby off. So they fire that and it would go into the rigging, into the of, rigging of, the, of the, ship. the distressed ship. And then they'd rig this up, put people in it put individually in, and then go... Brave and daring. And now, this was nine times out of ten at night in a raging uh, storm. Okay, in this portion of the museum you've got a lot of Coast Guard memorabilia. Here we have several models. One is the early revenue cutter Dobbin. The Eagle, of course everybody knows about the Coast Guard Sailing Park Eagle, That's it was right. a World War II reparation from Germany. And then we also have my old ship, the White Lupine. And so that's a, that's a, sh a ship that you would have served on? Oh really? Yep. No kidding. And that was the uh, Army lighter, um, ammo lighter in World War II. Oh well, Paul, thanks a lot for the great tour of the main Lighthouse Museum. It's a, it's a, a fascinating find for anybody who comes here to Rockland and a, and a must visit, I'd say, for anyone who's interested in lighthouses and the history of the Coast Guard and that sort of thing. I would, oh, it is, absolutely. It's a history of, of, of lighthouses. It's a history of the maritime history of Maine. And for boaters and, and the boating public especially, the history of boating pre-GPS mm -hmm. and I would argue boating post-GPS, if right. it ever goes away, um, <laughs> the age navigation, some of the other things we have to help the mariners throughout history. Mm -hmm. And it's just a fabulous place to come and see.